Hey everyone, we are live at five here at Broadway.com. It is Wednesday, September 12th, 9-12. I'm Paul Wontorek. And I'm Beth Stevens. And over there is Caitlin Moynihan. Hello. And because it is 9-12, we have a very special guest. And I actually didn't make this connection until like 20 minutes ago. But Caitlin, who booked this, made this connection. Jen Colella is here Jen Colella is here from Come From Away, away that Tony-nominated <laughs> fabulous diva that we love. Uh, she's in Come From Away, and that is often referred to as the 9-12 musical. Correct. We'll talk about it. And she has uh, a Her posse. mom is here. She has a posse. Yes. Lindy yep. and Kristen, mom's friend Kristen, whoop, whoop. are here, and Lindy's birthday is tomorrow, 9-13. So happy early birthday. Yes. Yeah. We're going to talk to Jen, but first, today's top five. Glenda Jackson's gender-bended King Lear has added to its cast, and we are so excited. We are so excited. This is an amazing cast. We knew that Glenda Jackson was going to play King Lear on Broadway, which she did at the Old Vic in London in 2016. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, sure. You go. ready? Okay. Jane Howdyshell is playing the Earl of Gloucester. That's a gender-bended role right there. Mm -hmm. I like to say gender-bended. Gender like you bended. said, yeah. we're just doing it. We're calling it that. Uh, Elizabeth Marvel will play... <laughs> You're just looking at me. I'm just looking at you. <laughs> You're just looking at me. Elizabeth Marvel will play Goneril. Easling O'Sullivan, Irish actress, will play Regan. Uh, Pedro Pascal will play Edmund. You know all these parts, right, Paul? I know mm -hmm. King Lear's your I know favorite the whole play. Show, backwards and forwards. And besides Titus Andronicus, it's King Lear. That's mm -hmm. your favorite. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Shakespeare news every day. There's more news. <laughs> Sam Gold will be the director. When it was done in London, it was Deborah Warner. So that's big news right there. Tony winner Sam Gold. Uh, this show will begin previews February 28th, 2019, and open on April 4th at the Golden Theater. It has a theater, it has a director, it has a cast. Yes. There you go. And a new musical has changed its name ahead of its West Coast premiere. Oh, Beth, we've been waiting to see Little Dancer, which we, we sometimes mistakenly call Tiny Dancer because of the Elton John I didn't song. know that you were going to tell everyone it's our secret. It's actually not an Elton John review. It is no. Little Dancer. It's an Aaron's and Flaherty musical, exactly. as in Lynn and Steven, um, who we love. They did that I one. Love Island show, Anastasia. Ragtime. Ragtime. They're very talented. They've been working on this Little little Dancer show. I almost said it again. I almost said Tiny <laughs> yeah, Dancer. The title. Tell us the title. It, it, oh, so the big news is they changed the title because of things like this. <laughs> they changed the title so I don't keep making this mistake. Now it's called Marie, colon, a new musical. I thought it was or a comma. comma. It actually comma. says comma. I don't Let's know get what the our punctuation, punctuation is. Anyway, they did it in uh, 2014 at the Kennedy Center. Mm -hmm. Now it'll be done at Seattle's uh, Fifth Avenue Theater. Didn't come from away. Play the Fifth Avenue. Was not. Oh. Yeah. Different theater. Come yeah. away. Anyway, it, the anyway uh, Susan Stroman is directing and choreographing. choreographing. She always has been attached to it. And it's about, do you know what it's about? Yes, it's about Edgar Degas' very famous that painting, uh, painting of a dancer, of a tiny a dancer. dancer. Okay, why are you asking me? And her <laughs> name is Marie. <laughs> <laughs> her name was Marie, so that is the new title. So I'm glad I could help you out with that, Paul. I, I, it'll be happening in Seattle. I'm going to go. Beth and I are going to go next oh, March. Oh, starts yeah. March 22nd, 2019. To see Marie, a new okay. musical. And then hopefully it'll get to Broadway. here, I hope so. Mm -hmm. You can call it whatever you want. Just get here if you can. <laughs> and a Tony nominee has joined this off-Broadway show. Okay. This is some exciting casting. Deidre Aziza. Great name. Who we love. Great name. Who is a Tony nominee for... Passing Strange. Obviously. For Passing Strange, you knew that. It's joining the cast of Eve Song Off-Broadway. This is at the Public Theater. It begins on October 21st and is uh, opening on November 7th, directed by Joe Bonney. It's about the haunting of a black family in America. Ooh. Right? Cool. I'm excited. So there you go. Amazing. That's the news. That's the news. And we have another round of off-Broadway casting and for another show that we're excited about. So the other Josh Cohen is that hilarious uh, musical, David Rosemary and Steve Rosen. It's coming back. You said it like hilarious, like it wasn't hilarious, but it is hilarious. Why are you judging, <laughs> Beth, really? Are we I'm doing this? I'm getting Colella's here, sorry. Are we doing okay, this? Just relax. Um, I'll relax. So uh, <laughs> Drama Dust nominee Kate Weatherhead will be in mm -hmm. the cast and Bright Star, the fantastic uh, Hannah Ellis, who I actually just ran into the other night. She didn't tell me. You see all the fancy people. She sings um, that uh, when I get to ask, you know, on the cast album. Sure. So sure. good. <laughs> I love when uh, you sing. Anyway, she's in it too, um, as along with Elizabeth Nestle Road, Luke Darnell, and Louis Tucci. Mm -hmm. Tucci. You got to say, you have to like, your voice has to go up on that. Uh, directed by Hunter Foster, who we also love of on course. stage or behind the scenes. He's fantastic. It'll be at the West Side Theater. Previews start October 26th. And an acclaimed London production is coming to the New York stage. Okay, I'm going to just 
talk about this for a second, so I'm excited for yeah, it. Yeah, because I, I don't know what it is yet. Okay, this is called the Lehman Trilogy. September 15th, 2008, Lehman Brothers collapsed, failed. Remember oh. our office was across the street and all those people were walking out with little boxes? boxes. Oh. It was sad because everyone lost their jobs and the economy collapsed, remember? Anyway, this is a play that was done at the National Theater in London. Fabulous cast and they are coming to the Park Avenue Armory to oh. do it. Sam okay. Mendes is the director. This is very fancy, people. Very fancy. It's highbrow. Highbrow. Adam Godley, Ben Miles, Simon Russell Beale, who have all been on Broadway before, are all reprising their roles and they are telling the whole history of the Lehman Brothers, the 163-year history. I'm very excited. I read the business page. I don't know. Um, starting from the immigrant man who began it, sons, grandsons, etc. Blah, blah. I bet you're going to take your husband to this one. Probably, but that's personal. March 22nd it starts, and it will run through April 20th. Is that's it a trilogy? It's, an, it's called it that part. because we're so going to have like a nine hours or Yeah, it's yeah. nine and a half hours. <laughs> actually. It's like Wolf Hall. <laughs> For the financial side. Do we know how long it is? I don't know the running time. I won't obsess over that. Don't worry about <laughs> it. Don't worry about it. It's very comfy there at the armory. Yes. <laughs> Beth, go look up how long it is. Okay. Uh, uh, we are going to make space for Tony nominated diva, fantastic Jen Colella. We love her. Mm -hmm. um, hey, Caitlin. Vlogger, double vlogger. Double vlogger. Double time, two, two time, time, double time? I don't know. Two time. Oh, what are the names of the vlogs? Oh, uh, I, th I thought you would head ask. Head is headlines. Head is headlines, and welcome for, to for the Rock. Chaplin, the fantastic Chaplin. Chaplin. By the way, head fantastic. Hopper. Head is headlines, and welcome to the Rock. All right, and welcome to the Rock, which is a song. And on that um, note, I'm going to go out of here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Caitlin, why don't you tell us more about <laughs> Jen Colella? Yes, we have Jen Colella in the studio with us today. She is currently starring in Come From Away, and is here on the 17th anniversary of the true story that inspired the now hit. Musical. She earned a Tony nomination for her role in Come From Away, and she's also known for her Broadway shows If Then, Chaplin, High Fidelity, and Urban Cowboy. As we said before, she's a two time Broadway.com vlogger. We love her here. Make sure to follow her on social media at Jen Colella and leave all your questions in the comments down below. Please welcome Paul and Jen. Hello, Jen Colella. We always love having you here. I love being here. How you doing? Fantastic. Yeah, how you doing with the, the seasons changing, especially this week? It's change of seasons time. You know what? Time. It was it was abrupt for my yeah, taste. Abrupt. I really like summertime. Yeah, I, like no, I saw you on the beach. On I follow you on social media. You had a good like beach trip. I did. Yeah. I was uh, I had a house on Fire Island. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah, and now it's kind of like. And now it's Not a little cute. cold and rainy, but I am I'm into uh, accepting what is. Uh -huh. So I'm trying like to surrender that. to what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, I was a little blue yesterday, which is um, not the way I roll. Because of 9/11. Because of 9/11. Because of the rain. Because of the, all of it. It was of, a yeah. dark, deep day. Yeah. yeah there's yeah. a hurricane heading towards my my uh, home state. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. Um, but it a actually was it turned out to be a beautiful. Um, time in the theater last night. We had. I want to hear about what uh, happens at. I was actually at Carousel across the street mm -hmm. last night, oh, and I you? thought, God, that's the show I'm supposed to be. I should be at Come From Away. It was tonight. beautiful. I mean, and actually, I saw it on 9/11 originally down did in DC. Did you really? Oh, right on. I came to see it. It was a Sunday matinee. I saw it on 9/11. Sure, two years I remember. Ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, it was lovely. People were leaning forward in their seats even more than they usually do. There was just a ton of love. We all kind of lost it during the curtain call because the, the gravity of the day hit yeah. us and because so much love was coming at us from the crowd and mostly because we felt deep gratitude for being able to continue to share this beautiful story. Mm -hmm. it, it, I remember when the show was first sort of coming up before it was a big Broadway blockbuster because it is now. Can you believe it? Amazing. I'm Amazing. I'm so, <laughs> so thrilled by everything that's happened with this show. <laughs> Uh, it was sort of the little show that could, mm -hmm. and everyone immediately said, oh, it's the, oh, the 9-11 musical. You know, people love to just sort of abbreviate what things are, right. and that's when people start saying, it's actually a 9-12 musical, that's because right. it, what it really is is about sort of the amazing human connections that came after the, day the after. events of that's September exactly 11. Right. That's exactly right. That's why it's so awesome to be here today, and we I just finished a matinee, and it, same thing. We didn't lose any of the energy or the love from last night. People are still really, um, they just... Uh, love the show. I think now more than ever people need this message of like kindness and compassion. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. The world just keeps telling us we need more and more and more and more of this, it. right? We need it. Um, so this is your longest run. Yes. <laughs> I just last weekend was my 800th show. Wow. In total from all the, yeah. Which from means all the incarnations, if any yeah. of you know the song, I sing a song called uh, Me and the Sky. Everyone knows that song. With, we love that song. song. If you want to sing it, we wouldn't mind. <laughs> I'll sing it if you know. I would love I to could. hear you I sing it. I could. I know all the lyrics, but well, I, so you know that but I in don't that have song, the Jen Colella pipes. Come on now. 
You know that in that song, <laughs> I say the word suddenly. It's actually, I think, 25 times. My stage manager counted mm. this for me at Jen Cos. And so we discovered that I have sung the word suddenly over 20,000 times. <laughs> <laughs> Which must be a, a Guinness Book suddenly's. World Record I, thing. I, we need yeah, to check. I mean, we need to look. It has to be. Let's get, that in, let's get that in print. Suddenly, that, I've said that a lot of times. That's crazy. <laughs> Isn't that wild? <laughs> I know. I know. So singing it that many times, it is a fantastic song. Mm -hmm. um, and it is sort of your, your spotlight moment. Although the whole show is such a great ensemble piece. Mm -hmm. It really is uh, what you're woven throughout the whole show. You're on stage the whole, I mean, it's, it's, it's a beautiful show in that way and mm -hmm. how it uses performers. Um, but do you, what is it like? What's the long run like? I, I always wonder how you do it every night, how an actor sort of gets ready to do the exact same thing, although it's not exactly the same, but mm -hmm. talk about sort of um, how, how that works. Well, delightfully, I still, and we all do, I feel confident speaking for the cast. We love walking into that building. I love every face that I see, crew, cast, uh, stage management. Creatives are still, they still come in and out. It, we've created this hive of love and yeah. goodness on 45th Street that is just a joy to, to be around. So um, I love walking into the stage door. Um, and then we all realize, you know, that downbeat, and we do our first stomp, and it's like a hundred minute meditation. Um, and it does get harder, actually, as mm -hmm. time goes on. People mm. think, oh no, your body's got it, and it's in your body, and that part is true. But to keep it fresh, and to make certain mm -hmm. that I, I'm saying this for the first time with the same amount of urgency and presence as I did three years ago, yeah. is a new challenge that I'm enjoying. I'm still, f I'm still working on it. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of a new part of the craft that I've not had the, the, the pleasure or the privilege to design yet for myself, mm -hmm. so working on it. But there are certain people in this industry that I adore who I've seen in shows that did not run mm -hmm. 800 times. Mm -hmm. I can name, I could start naming them, but I mean, we, like we, me. you, there are a bunch yeah. of them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we already said Chaplin. I love yes. Chaplin. Yeah. Uh, Urban Cowboy, fantastic. Yeah. High Fidelity. Slut the Musical. Was just a second. High Fidelity. Slut I mean, come funny. on, I, I, go, I, did, I go deep here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Although If Then had a nice run. If Then did have a thank nice you, run. Thank you, Adina Menzel. That, Thanks. You, Thanks, Thank Steve. you for helping that Thanks, out. Thanks, buddy. And, and John Travolta, I guess. Um, <laughs> maybe he helped. I don't know. Um, that was wild. <laughs> <laughs> that whole day was so wild. We didn't know it was going to turn into that thing, and, and Dee came back to the theater, and she was like, John Travolta called me something crazy. Like, it was before the whole thing happened. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, so nuts. Yeah. Um, and, and in that one, you, uh, LaShawn's played your, your girlfriend in the show. She and, did, and my, of course, my wifey. I said it yesterday, whenever 9-11 comes around, I always think of LaShawn's, mm -hmm. and I saw, she, she saw she was with Bill Clinton yesterday. Did yeah, that? isn't that awesome? She actually came, I did a reading uh, of a new musical that um, my girlfriend, Shalina Kennedy, wrote. Shalina Kennedy, we like her. We like her. Yes. <laughs> we do like her. We love her. Yeah. <laughs> um, she wrote an incredible musical called Call It Love, um, and LaShawn's came, oh. like showed up to be a sweet little wifey like she is. We still Even call each other wifey. Even she's a big wifey. diva on Broadway big every diva. night, singing her face I off. I know, yeah. on yeah. a day off, it was so, so sweet. Did you get to see her in summer? Did I your, did, oh okay, yeah, your schedule absolutely, works. absolutely, I wouldn't have missed it. Yeah, yeah. she's ridiculous, yeah. she's so good. So let's talk about uh, what you've been up to beyond Come From Away. All so, right. uh, I mean, Shalina Kennedy, I've been following on social media. Yep. The, the romance and and the, oh, the and romance. I guess the musical too. Yes. Oh so my God, what's the musical? Kill me. Um, the musical is called Call It Love, and uh, it's kind of a song cycle built around Shalina's album. Mm. She has an album called What You Find in a Bottle mm -hmm. with yep. all, all original songs, yeah. uh, her singing them, and then she developed this musical around these songs, and it's incredible. It's wow. beautiful and moving and unlike anything else I've ever seen or worked on. We had an extraordinary cast. It was uh, me, Tony Lepage, uh, Morgan Weed, Charlie uh -huh. Pollock, uh -huh. and um, it was in, it was really, really fun to work on for, cool. the, for the past week, so we're excited about that. She is also producing director of Eclipse Theatre Company, mm -hmm. based out of Toronto, and they are producing it, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm stoked about that show. Now you're also doing uh, 12 Angry Men, right? Yes, an the all-female. All mm -hmm. Love that idea. Isn't that cool? What I know. a cool idea. Shalina's in that as well. When is that? Um, that is this Sunday. Weekend. Yeah. yeah, 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 Sunday. And what juror number are you? I'm juror number 12. We just got our assignments. I'm stoked. Um, Shalina's the foreman. I'm a little jealous, but I'm going to work through it. <laughs> I'm going to work through it. That's a great play. I'm, and I'm, great I'm dying play. to see like what that means, to see all women do it. That's I know. Very, very and using that same, we're using the same dialogue, the same text. We're not changing it. So it's going to be a lot of, listen, fella, you know what I mean? Like yeah. there's a, But we're talking to one another. I think it's going to be 
really fascinating to hear it from women's point of view and to have the women's vibration, like our uh -huh. voices saying these words is gonna be pretty powerful. Uh huh. You've also been, you did a bunch of readings of another musical. I yes, I've been working on. Uh, it's called the Suffragists. Right. Yeah. Um, with uh, it's all Shana Taub. Yeah, and Shana Taub. Everybody loves Shana Taub. <coughs> I mean, her, she's an extraordinary human being. I mean, she's gonna blow up really big. I mean, she it's already, already is, happening. but it's like, but like, right now. It's, I know. Get into it. Oh get into my gosh! It. Check out her music. Do everything you can. Like, go follow Shana Taub to yeah. the ends of the earth. Lee Silverman's directing. Oh, fantastic. Uh, currently, it's an all-female cast, all-female creative team. I've never been in a room where there haven't been any men, and I'm down with men. I'm totally yeah. cool, but it's really, really interesting how the energy shifts uh, when it's all women, it's, mm -hmm. uh, and especially with this particular topic, mm -hmm. right? Um, so we are, I, I am so excited. I have never been so excited about something. It's still very early. We're still just working on act one, but I am beside myself with joy over awesome. this project. Yeah. I realized I didn't finish my thought. What I was trying to say before was when you've seen you do things like Slut the Musical and all these <laughs> other things that I loved, uh, I'm so thrilled that you, I, I, you know, you're one of those people. I'm like, I want you to have a good steady gig and I want you to have this attention. I want the Tony Thanks, nomination. Brother. I want you singing that song everywhere. Thanks, so, man. And I want you to keep coming here. So I will I'm always come here. And I love that you're involved in so many new things. So Thanks, brother. I'm just happy. You're sweet to you me. You know I like you. I like you back. Uh, hey, Caitlin, uh, <laughs> what are the people online saying? Yeah, what are they Ooh. saying? People got a lot of questions. Let okay. me tell you that. Okay, okay. Okay, <laughs> Let me so tell you that. Yeah. Sarah asks, if you could play a different role and come from away for one day only, mm. who would you play and why? I think about this all the time. <laughs> um, I would like to play all of them, but um, I, th I like uh, Diane. I like that role. She's the, she gets to fall in love and like, you know, um, I really enjoy that role. If I could do a dude's role, I'm real into Oz Fudge. I like the cop. I just love it. I love the outfit. I love the whole thing. I love the whoop whoop. Like he just <laughs> cracks me up. And so I would like a crack at that. I love that. And Come From Away is going on tour now. Which is oh my like heavens. there's a whole new Come From Away family I know. And going out. Here's into the a world. fun little tidbit. Andrew Smotsky, yes. who is playing Kevin uh, T. He's fantastic. Um, he's awesome. Yep. He and I went to grad school together. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, where Beth Malone also went. Huh? He and I, he was my King Marchand, and Vi I played Victor Victoria um, oh, wow. in my, my last year of grad school, and he Where's and I played video? opposite one another. There's some mom? video. Sure. There's mom? video of that, mom? of me <laughs> dancing. I have to do the jazz hot, like I'm like dancing. I would love to see you do Victor Victoria. It was, it was fun. It was really, really fun. Do you have any like dream classic musical roles? I mean, I know you like you know, developing all this new stuff, but. You know what I've been saying? I, you keep doing this, and I'm doing it back, because I like it. You <laughs> like it. Keep it. Yeah, yeah. I'm into it. Um, I want to play Bobby in Company, and not the way they're doing it. So yeah, they're doing it in London the pond, with the female Bobby. But they're changing it to like, "Have I got a boy for you?" I don't want any of that mess. I want, right. you know what I mean? Keep it. Have I got a girl for you? You know got what it. I mean? It's all girls. We're not. It's still Marta. It's still right. April. It's still, right. um, yeah, like a, okay, right? Let's all put right. that out into the world. All right, let's call Steve. I'll just give him a call. <laughs> <laughs> what up, Steve? <laughs> I call him Steve. <laughs> I love that. Well, we're kind of on this topic anyway, but Nikki asked, would you do a gender-bending Shakespeare role? I totally would. And who would you want to do? Of course have I would. Have you done Shakespeare? Um, I have done a little bit, only because I went to grad school and right. that sort of thing. Yeah. I've, I've played Puck in Midsummer. Shocking news. I know, a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've also played Peter Pan. Also shocking. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen photos of that, I thought. Have you? That's yeah, fun. Yeah, That's yeah, a fun yeah, one. Yeah. Um, but as far as Shakespeare goes, I would, I would really like to get a crack at Viola. Oh. I think that would be a good one. Uh -huh. um, because uh, she does the gender bending thing yeah, within yeah. the, it's within written the that way. Yeah. Did you guys see the Twelfth Night in the, I, I, in the park I with up. Shana Taub? I know, I heard, I you heard it was fantastic. Up. Oh my gosh. I know. It was glorious. I'm sorry. I've never, it's okay. No, I Everyone's know. Everyone's cool. This is what I happens with it's a, it's ephemeral. So like when these things come in and they go, we don't right. get to see I everything. Know. But wow. Wow. There was a lot of sign language. Um, I, I, I know sign. And I uh, feel like those productions in the park have sort of gone to another level. Oh you know, my what goodness. they're doing now with it the. It was uh, extraordinary. Yeah. I think about it a lot. Yeah. Really, really awesome. Cool. It's amazing. Um, a lot of people are, are wondering what your experiences at the stage door are like and those conversations that you have and if there's one that kind of sticks out in recent memory. Um, they all, it's so sweet, the love coming at us when we, when we walk out the door. And people have a lot to say about the show, obviously, and they want to share moments, um, someone that they've lost or someone they knew yeah. that was or what have you, and that's always very, very precious. And 
we all love holding space for people. But then there are other people who are like, thanks for being out, and thanks for mm -hmm. being honest about who you are. And you know, I sh sometimes I like girls, sometimes I like guys, sometimes I like them at the same time, and I'm real <laughs> open about it. And people are uh, appreciate that. Yeah. I, I think that um, some celebrities are cautious about being very open, and I am trying to be open so that somebody can maybe see that uh, see themselves in me and then feel not so afraid. So that, to me, really moves me. If someone says thank you for being a part of the LGBTQ community and mm -hmm. it's helped me, that just means the world to me. Oh, I love Fantastic. that. I love that. Uh, uh, so Sarah wants to know, how do you keep your voice and body ready and present for performing eight times a week? It's a great question. Um, it is no joke. We really, it's a kind of, we, we got to treat our bodies like we're athletes. So I've started working out. I've started lifting weights. I've, I box now. You look strong. Super fun. Yeah. Thank you. I don't. Hey. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Anyone yeah. who knows me knows I'm so proud <laughs> of what I'm building. Because I've always been so slender. And so mm. it feels good to have some bumps. Yeah. You know? Um, so I've been working out and then lots of sleep. Like sleep for me is sleep is a key to everything. Really, how much key. sleep do you like? Ideally I try get to I, get. I have to have at least eight, but I nine is preferable. I aim for eight. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know if I can it. get to nine, but it, it, oh it, it makes it's such a difference. So, I mean, literally restorative. Like it, it is where I heal, and because I'm always so on the go, to have a moment where I have to shut everything down feels the most healthy for me. Lots of water, no yelling. Got to take extra good care of myself. Mm -hmm. Amazing. This one, we can do one more question. This one's kind of just fun. Okay. Uh, Krista said, how often do you have to get your hair cut? It always looks so relaxed and fun. My heavens, relaxed and fun is what I'm going for. <laughs> so thank you, Kristen. Um, I, often. I, I, I have this great guy, Matthew, at the theater who does it. He just cut it today. Today is a haircut day. It's like every, every two so and a half. So you just had it done? Yeah, two it and a half, amazing. three weeks. I really, really appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. yeah, it's really good. Thank you. It's really good. Right on. Love Thanks. It. Thanks. <laughs> I'm into it. Love it. Uh, well, thank you so much. I, I mean, there's so many things happening. But how long do you think you're going to be at Come From Away? Do you have any idea? I just signed for another six months. Yeah. I know. I love it there so much. I love it. I really, I, where else would I go? It's I just, love that. It's, it's my home, and I'm really, really grateful. And, um, yeah, I'll, I'll be there for, for a little bit longer. So I love come it. check it out. Into 2019. Yeah, man. Go see Come From Away, everybody. It's it's fantastic every day of the week, every day of the year. But right now, this week, <laughs> it's, it's sort of a, a special thing. Truly. Uh, thank you for coming here. My goodness, thank you for having me. And my mom, my sweet mom and yes. Kristen. My mom's birthday the posse. tomorrow. I love <laughs> yes. you so much. I'm, I'm so glad it. you're here. I love you guys. Thanks for having me. <laughs> love you too. Thanks. Uh, thank you so much. Everyone, check out Come From Away. Caitlin, why don't you take us out? Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We are live at 5 every single day on Facebook. You can listen to all of our interviews in a podcast form by searching for hashtag live at 5 and hitting that subscribe button. Be sure to tune in tomorrow and we talk to Katie Lowe's and Adam Shapiro, the real-life married couple of Waitress.